No thank you Is what I should have said I should be in bed But Temptations so today we're looking at my Rogue Asus Ally dedicated desk setup. And it's part of a full on remodel that we did in our bedroom because I have a really cool wife. But no sponsors today. Everything is something that I've gotten in the past or purchased myself. But there is one brand I want to shout out because they make a really cool product. And he's a great guy. But I'm weak and what's wrong? This is my 32 inch Samsung M8 smart monitor. I purchased this because I wanted this space to be for casual gaming and entertainment. The Ally can only push so hard due to its limited graphical power and this fits great. This monitor is always on sale and is under $450. It's a 32 inch 4K60 HDR10 plus monitor with smart TV features, doubling as a monitor and smart TV. This has a host of features you won't find on other monitors or TVs due to its dual roles. Some features are the built-in 1080p webcam, it's a Samsung smart hub that can control all your smart devices, it's an ultra slim minimalist design that fits in any setup, it has Bluetooth, it's USB-C, one cable compatible, has a fast four millisecond response time which is blazing for productivity focused monitors, it's VESA compatible, meaning it can be mounted on a wall, it has auto switch technology for connected devices, comes with a remote with hot keys for free Samsung TV Plus, Netflix, Disney, and Prime Video. There's really too much to cover here, but the best feature to me is the built-in Samsung Gaming Hub, which makes all your games and systems accessible without plugging them or a PC into the monitor at all. Connect a controller and log into your accounts and play. You'd be surprised that my keyboard is a budget keyboard by LTC. This is the Neon 75 and it's one of the brightest keyboards I've ever used. It is a very solid and well built 75% mechanical keyboard. It has tri-mode compatibility, can last up to 530 hours with continuous use up to 25 hours with the RGB on. There are 18 RGB presets directly on the board. The Neon 75 also has a full software suite allowing customization like button remapping, macros, etc. It's hot swappable and can take most 3 pin and 5 pin switches. It comes stock with PBT pudding keycaps, red switches, I mean you literally will not believe the quality of this keyboard and it's dropped in price to $41 on Amazon currently with a retail price of $69. This is a fully customizable board and it may be a good base for modders to create a budget custom keyboard build. The mouse pad is a SteelSeries Prism XL Neo Noir Special Edition RGB mouse pad. It has the QCK micro woven cloth optimized for low and high DPI tracking movements. The outer edge has two zone RGB illumination and the design is a lot different than something I typically go for but for gaming I wanted something electric with personality. Most likely I'm going to switch this out with the desk mat on my gaming setup in my office downstairs due to my cats loving to jump up on this desk and scratch up my mouse pads. Due to that I have to put this one away every single night <laughs> when I'm not using it. The Bluetooth dialogue and gaming speaker is by BenQ. This is the Travolo U and I completed a dedicated review on this speaker and it has some pretty strong features making it great for gaming, discord, audiobooks, it's perfect for meetings and live trainings, etc. I mean there are some features on here like noise cancellation, echo cancellation, and special features that highlight and lock in on the human voice making it easier to understand dialogue in live applications as well as gaming. It is a very, very interesting and amazing speaker that is flying under the radar. I'll link the dedicated video in the description below as well as the pinned comment in case you're interested. I use the Logitech G735 Lightspeed gaming headsets when I need to be quiet. These are my favorite gaming headsets because they are extremely light, only weighing 273 grams, making them the most comfortable headset I have. They can last up to 50 hours at 50% volume, and I can attest to the battery life because I never, and I mean never charge these, and they are always miraculously ready to go when I need them. These have great features such as the light speed connection, G-Hub software support, and multiple device connection, being able to listen to two devices at once, which I do often by connecting my phone and Ally uh, to watch Netflix or Hulu while also scrolling on IG or something like that. I want to point out that most of the accessories you see around my desk I got from Timu. 
The two light sconces are magnetic touch control with three light levels and USB-C rechargeable. The acoustic panels are a combination of white and black hexagon packs. The artificial plants, the Spaceman fold and holder holding my Starfield steel bookcase and the Astronaut Nebula projector are all from Timu. I'll tag my Timu Tech unboxing playlist at the end because I find some really great finds in those. I want to give a very huge shout out to Quinn over at Liquid Carry. He handcrafts these custom controller stands with real wood. He has a variety of stands that hold Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, Series 2 Elite controllers, the PS5 Edge, etc. You can order them in different variations. Mine has storage and RGB. I'll put the link in the description below so you can order your own and my discount code that you can use at checkout. I reached out to Quinn directly and he is very passionate about his work and expanding his brand. I absolutely love when people are excited about the work that they do and are honest and genuine people. I cannot recommend him and his brand enough. Sadly, I'm not going to cover the mouse as I'm not a big fan of it. I'll be looking to replace it soon. SteelSeries mice in general are good, but the wake from sleep delay really bothers me. For charging on the desk, I have the Anchor 525 charging station that supports four device fast charging and has all the latest charging technologies, such as over voltage protection, surge protection, etc. It has two USB-C 67 watt ports and two USB-A ports along with three outlets. I think I need to do a dedicated video on my desk. This is a combination of what I believe to be the most sturdy standing desk frame in the industry, which is the Apex Pro by Desk House. My desktop is actually a 72 inch workbench top from the Home Depot. This desk frame has a range of 22 and a half inches to almost 50 inches and has a lifting capacity of 600 pounds. It can basically get as low as a coffee table and up to a full standing desk. I want another one to use as a coffee table as well, but also as a slash content table when needed sometimes. But they are on the high end in cost. They are absolutely worth it though, as I've never owned a desk this solid. I know I will own this for the next 20 years with no issues, other than replacing the budget THD top I added to it. When I can afford it, my goal is to get a Grand Rapids style six leg Apex Pro Max L-shaped desk from Desk House with a wall knot top. That's when I absolutely know that I have made it on YouTube. So that is my upstairs setup powered solely by the Rogue Asus Ally. Sitting on and powering all my peripherals is the JSO RGB docking station. And I just recently did a dedicated video on that. And I'll put that in the description below as well as the pinned comment. It has my Starfield Collector's Edition as its theme for now, and I still have some decisions to make like what to do with this 65 inch LG OLED that sits right next to the desk due to how my bedroom used to be oriented prior to this change. For now, I use it as a window sometimes, sometimes an extra panel to watch football or basketball when I'm gaming on the main setup, which I will be doing an update video on how well the Nanoleaf 4D and Black Hexagons are doing in that setup. But for 2023, this is what this setup looks like for now. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. I had a blast making it for you all. I have two more setups to cover for 2023 before moving on to the 2024 setups. Now, if you enjoyed today's content, go ahead and take a look at the video from last week, which was my top down setup for all content creators that's easily remade. And also consider subscribing below if you're new to the channel and you want to join the Cozy Coalition. Happy holidays, and as always, stay cozy in that crazy world, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. But I'm weak, and what's right?